Hi there, my name is Kunberg and welcome to my channel. This is Edna and Harvey, Harvey's New Eyes, uh, a point and click adventure indie game. Uh, the developer and publisher is Daedalic Entertainment. It came out in 2012, it's got very positive reviews and it's normally on for £15.99, but there's a sale on at the moment, so it's for £1.59. So, you know, if there's a, if there's a sale on, 90% off, wait for the sale. Um, it's uh, got single player achievements and trading cards, uh, rated 12 apparently, and um, it's for Windows Vista and 7. From the creators of the award winning games The Whispered World and Deponia comes this extraordinary game, Harvey's New Eyes, I'll tell you how much does it. Um, it says, I'll just read the, the part of it. Well, that's actually quite a long, chainly thing. Basically, it's about his eyes. Um, I'm not going to read too much about the entire wording. So, uh, we're going to go for it, and I'll show you what we got. So, uh, in the settings, I've dropped my music, I'll pop it up to about 41, and I've just dropped all these down just for testing. Uh, and I'm going to leave everything else as it is. And that's it. Um, and I've no idea what else. They're, they're, I think it's a clicky game. Oh, thank God, I thought it was going to open my screen. Um, okay, fine. I've never played any of these. I've got another one of Edna's. Um, so I don't know what that's going to be like. What are these? These are the games that they suggest you to play. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's play the game. Let's see what it's like. Eardrums. I played that one yet. It seems like you need to be solaced Telling from the scratch on your knee You fell and got hurt in the process And now you come crying to me Catered for these circumstances And hands carry needle and stitch in my pants Don't worry my dear There is nothing to fear Just a stitch and a sew Soon it's almost as new And the cat will adhere after all you have to Admit it is not as severe Right here. Take care of you and up, Scott, my dear. I can't stand to watch children bleed. Well, don't give me that kind of look now. Just keep going on, soon you will. See how everything will end well though It still may depend on your skill I catered for these circumstances And hands carry needle and stitch in my pants But yet needle and thread can bear dangers instead if you're clumsy and plump and all fingers and thumbs It might just turn out bad, especially when it comes To delicate operations like that Oh, I have needle and stitch right here Take care or you'll end up scarred, my dear I can't stand to watch children bleed 
I guess I should revise my statement The wound is not going to heal Forget about all that I said and Work harder on your stitching skill I catered for these circumstances And hands carry needle and stitch in my pants Now you pay the bill for your lack of skill And please do stop crying and mourning and sighing Don't weep like a whelp that is painfully dying I merely was trying to help Right here. Take care or you'll end up scarred, my dear. I can't stand to watch children bleed. God, what an intro! Hello, dear friends of Adventure Games. The spyware we installed on your computers tells me that many children are sitting at their screens again tonight. That's why I'll refrain from telling you the story that I had actually prepared for you. Of course, that's a real shame. It would have been such a good story. Entertaining explosions, a giant robotic opossum. But also with many offensive expressions and an inordinate amount of excessive violence. The story that I'll tell you instead has a slightly different flavor. It's about Lily, the most virtuous child in the entire world. And it begins in the courtyard of a small, sleepy convent school. Not too far from the place where the giant robotic opossum is sucking the brains of innocent bystanders out through their eye sockets. But enough of that. It's a beautiful, sunny day. And Lily is raking the leaves in the yard with a cheery tune on her lips. How many times do I have to tell you not to sing while working? You know very well that I hate the sound of cheerful children. These ch ch children are driving me crazy. Leaves again? Uh-huh. Tch. How boring. And so unnecessary, too. The leaves all drift back onto the path anyway. You should just come with me instead. I'm on a treasure hunt right now, you know? Uh-uh. Well, it's your decision. You can always come to the swing tree later. When you're done here, I think I found something in the flower beds over there. Until then, see ya! of accidents caused by the mishandling of computer games. To minimize the risk of a crippling deformity, we recommend that you strictly comply with all of the following safety guidelines. Do you want to play the tutorial? I'd like to turn the damn music down if I can. You've decided to play the tutorial. That's very smart of you. And because you paid attention, you also know that with all these leaves here, the convent garden needs a good raking. Lily has already picked up the rake. Accordingly, the cursor now shows the picture of a rake. To discover the spots where Lily can rake, simply press the space bar. Why don't you just try it out right now? Would you look at that? The red eyes show which items can be used. Apparently, there are three piles of leaves that Lily can use with the rake. Just move the cursor over one of the piles until the name of the item appears next to it. You can now make the move with a left mouse click. But be careful, accidents can happen so quickly. Hi diggity! You've taken the first step without giving anyone a deep flesh wound. <laughs> But your work isn't done yet. Finish the task for Mother Superior. 
It can't be that hard, can it? Maybe not. If I could turn his volume down, it'd be awesome. Do this. What the? Whoa, that's a never ending task. Maybe you have to come up with something else to complete this job. Press the space bar again. Maybe there's another place where you can rake. Am I blind? One, two, three. That's all I can make. Am I looking at this wrongly? Really? One, two. music in my eardrums. I turn, I turn the volume down and I'm... Oh, is it there? Well, there's... One, two, three. Maybe you have to come up with something else to complete this job. Press the space bar again. Maybe there's another place where you can break. Can I turn this fucking music off? Look. One, two, three. You can, can anyone see it? It's literally all I've got. Can I turn that fucking volume off? One, two, oh, no. Whoa, that's a never-ending task. Maybe... Piss off. Yes. How do I get out of here so I can get the fucking volume? How do you get out of here so I can get to the volume? So I'm just trying to um, come out of it so I can get to the fucking volume like that. Oh, 
Okay, I'm back after pressing Alt F4. I could not for the life of me get into here to get to the settings to change this bloody volume. This this music was just pissing me right off. So I've, I've ticked this, open the inventory with a click. Alright, let's see if I can get to this. So, apparently, there is a task. Where is the bar? See, this is what I'm saying, right? I, I, I have no idea if I'm missing something completely off the screen. Because now I can't get to the. The, the inventory, and I, what I can't do is when I press that, I've only got these three options. I'm assuming this would be one, but I have no idea because it's not. What the fuck? Why is she still stood there? I always end up with a glitchy game. I don't understand how I do it sometimes, but whenever I play a game, some most of the time I end up with some sort of glitch. So I've now got... I can't get to the options. I'm going to try and window mode in a minute. I can't get to the options. I've now got two. Count them two of her. Two. And what I don't have is this other option and I can't get out of here at all you know and I press this and there's nothing oh, let me all F4 again one second come okay, on window mode here and there's still nothing is there Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what? Oh my fucking god. I was really hoping to play this game, I was looking forward to it, and now I can't do it because I've got this shit thing. Look, there she is again. Do Okay, I'm going to call this an end. Um, it's so sad I was looking forward to playing this game. I bought this one ages ago. I mean, when I got it, got it in a sale, obviously. And uh, I was looking forward to playing Ed and Ravi. I just can't get this one to work. I've, this is my fourth attempt to come into the game. The issue is, you go into settings and people will say, maybe, change your resolution. You can't. You can't change the resolution. It's stuck. This doesn't do all because I don't even know where the inventory is. I, d I, d I don't. And then when I'm in there, oh, there must be an easier way. Press the space bar to show other options. It's the three bloody stone slabs. I have no other options. There is none there. I've clicked it about five times. And then Lily, whatever her name is, seems to then duplicate into a doppelganger and then split into two. <sighs> Why is it when I try... Oh, I don't know anymore. Right, don't matter. So, this is a review, obviously. Maybe it works for some people. Maybe I'm just an unlucky soul. It seems to happen a lot with everyone I get some games that I just have glitches known to mankind. Um, if you've played this game and you've managed to get past this set, this bit, please let me know because I can't figure the damn thing out. 
uh, you would have assumed that I could get straight into it. But then looking at the Steam discussions, there's a lot of people saying there's issues with this, issues with that. So maybe the issue is the fact that the game just doesn't work. And I can't change my, change my resolution, and my resolution is actually what it should be. God damn you. I enjoyed the intro, but that was it. <laughs> so, God sake. Anyway, I would say hopefully you've enjoyed what this game review of uh, Edna and Harvey's, Harvey's new eyes, but I can guarantee the answer on that one will probably be no. Um, please subscribe to my channel. I definitely have a lot more better than this. Um, I have other cartoony things. A lot by Daedalic Entertainment, actually, to be honest. So I've got some good stuff by them. Um, and um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And like I say, if you've figured this out. Okay, well, thank you and goodbye.